Hi, this is Brad with FilterWaterDirect.com, and I want to take a few minutes and go through recharging your poly hard water scale conditioner. It only takes a few minutes. It's very simple. You can actually do three different things whenever you take yours apart. Uh, you can clean the bullet core, you can clean the 50 micron stainless screen, and you can also add fresh polyphosphate to your filter. Uh, yours is probably going to be installed, but if you're watching this video before you install it, that's fine too. I've got this in a vise out here in the shop just for presentation to, to, to show you how easy it is. I also want to show you the components that came with it. Uh, some of them, the parts are spare parts, and some of them, the parts you're going to need to install it. But uh, if you notice on top, there's a, if you look on top of yours, you have a red arrow. That's the flow of water. That's the direction of water. Uh, so in this in this particular filter, uh, the water would come in this side, and it would be leaving on this side. Okay, if there's any questions about that, uh, as far as uh, the filter itself recharging it. Uh, yours is already charged when you get it. We sent them out charged, but if you've already installed yours and you need to add polyphosphate to it or you want to check it, it's pretty simple. So you're going to take the bottom off. In this case, I took the top off. But your top is going to be permanently installed in your plumbing system. So you'd be screwing the bottom off. And uh, to begin with, turn your water off. If you've installed a bypass around your system like I hope you would, then uh, once the water is turned off by your bypass, you can open this drain valve and drain the pressure off of the filter housing and drain the water out of the filter housing so it's going to be easy to service for you. That's what we include this valve for. Okay. Uh, so after that's done and you're sure there's no water pressure on, on anything, then you're going to take the, the bottom off and, and the entire assembly will, come, will be intact here. This is the bullet core. All right. This is the catalytic core that is uh, very important to to uh, keep it clean and to clean it just use a wire brass brush uh, whenever you pull everything apart brush it up as good as you can under water soak it in vinegar for an hour or so that'll make it look ni nice it doesn't need to be real real shiny don't worry about that um, but if it kind of gets green on you uh, or kind of gets crusty that's the kind of stuff you want to you want to take care of and keep it clean and try to get your brush uh, in between these these crevices too because as water flows through this core uh, there's a turbulence created a cache it's going to be coming this way the turbulence is created and that, that's where the ions are actually added to your water so the cleaner you can keep this the better you're going to you're, the better uh, quality water you're going to get and when you install it just put it back in the tube with the chamfer on top just like that the screen you can just simply pull it out. There's an O-ring around the bottom, and you can see there's nothing. It's just a 50 micron stainless steel screen. Uh, just take a, a good nylon brush, keep it cleaned up. Uh, I, I brush mine inside and out whenever I service it. And of course, put it back in there and snap it in good. I've got 50, or I've got 10 and a half uh, ounces of polyphosphate here that I'm going to pour in here. I use a little funnel, and uh, just simply pour the polyphosphate into the screen. Like so, kind of shake it around, drop your bullet back into place, and screw the bottom back on. Very simple. You don't need to wrench it, just uh, hand tighten it good. Okay, 